Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Gulfstream Park in South Florida on Thursday afternoon, December the 22nd, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle race of the day. Let's take a look at race 7 this afternoon, folks. 3.21 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile test on the turf. Three-year-olds and upgrades for an optional claiming prize of some $64,000. Tenors number 6, Little Mike. Number 1, Yankee Fortune. Number 5, Clement Rock. And number 8, Guy's Reward. Number 6, Little Mike, takes a class drop of 8 units this afternoon as the speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field, racing at today's distance of 8 furlongs on the turf, has produced a quartet of power run wins in his last 5, and in fact has won 7 of 8 overall. Jockey Joe Bravo was in his irons for all 8 of those races, with those 7 wins producing a positive 416% return on investment in the process. Bravo is back today for ride number nine, gunning for a double Grand Slam win. Number one, Yankee Fortune has hit the board in four of his last five, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race seven, summary number six, Little Mike tops the contenders list, which also includes number one, Yankee Fortune, number five, Clement Rock, and number eight, Guy's Reward, 6158 in the seventh from Gulfstream. Bonus long shots, Turfway Park, race two, the six to one shot. Number nine, motion to dismiss. The overall speed leader in this climbing field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the cushioned dirt. Hawthorne race course, race four, the six to one shot. Number three, bent missile, a track master plus power pony qualifier. Nice overall speed for this six for a long sprint. So from Gulfstream Park on a Thursday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.